ladies and gentlemen. I know it's been a while. I it's it, it's been it's been a long time. It has been a long time since we had a family discussion. This is a family meeting. Make sure that you call everyone. Your grannies, your aunties, your uncles, your mothers, your fathers, your stepfathers, your stepmothers, every step thing that you can find in your house. Because I have a lot on my mind. And I need to say something. But before we get there, not a drill. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, people of the internet. My name is Master Ruru and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So good to say that. Well, if you're a new subscriber or a new viewer, or you're just browsing and saying, hey, what is this boy all about? It is good to be here. It is nice to be here. You should join us and be part of the family. But if you are already part of the family, thank you for coming back. It's nice to be back. It's nice to see you. It is nice to be in your faces. Yet again. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button on your screen and make sure that you notify the notification button and tell your friends and some of their friends master reloaded just uploaded a new video but before we get to the story time let me show you how to do it um. it's been a minute since i actually give you an update about my life I should have called this thing and updates about my life, but where's the fun in that? Well, no more I have you until I'm okay. It's a story time about something which has ended, ended long time ago actually. Uh, something which a lot of people knew about and something which a lot of people have been having their concerns and asking me about. I never thought I'll share this, but anyway, it is what it is. Content has to be contenting. That's why we call content creators for some point. We need to give content to the public. So, no more I love you until I'm okay is a story time about me realizing that fuck Ntolo, fuck dating, fuck being in love, fuck fairy tales about happy ever after. Focus on yourself, boy. You are your own pillar of strength. Remember that. You are your own machine and you run the flipping company as you know how to do best. Focus on yourself, focus on your money and focus on your growth before you let anybody and anyone get into your life in terms of a relationship. Because when you are at a point where you don't know who you are and you want to know who you are through someone else, a lot of shit can happen. And a lot of shit happening means that you have to demolish someone's heart in order to build you. Which is something that happened, but it had, it had a lot of flaws in it. But anyway, to cut the matter short, um, it, it's sad that I needed to lose you to love me. Because I didn't know what I wanted at that point. I thought I knew what I wanted, but at some point I didn't know what I wanted. There was a lot of I didn't and I didn't. Yeah, there, there was a lot of didn't and didn't. Like, there was a lot of building at that point so um mo point of the matter is that it ended somewhere around november when it ended truth be told i ended relationship because of my insecurities because i have been getting a lot of dms especially from instagram from accounts that are weird actually Accounts that you can see that this account was created today, this account was created a few days ago. It does not really have like a unique name, uh, a unique username rather, and it does not really have that entanglement and that prosperity saying that this account belongs to so and so. Even though it is a ghost account, saying that my relationship with this person won't last, my relationship with this person wouldn't be like it, it's fraudulent at some point and it's stupid if i could put it that way because there was a lot of document like, i don't want to say documentation but there was a lot of speculations about the relationship there was a lot of okay the person is doing this why why did you fall in love with this person when i'm here at some points they started sending me nudes and i was just like okay all right why are we doing that like i don't know if i was the problem 
or the relationship was the problem or the person that I was with was the problem because at some point it got to where I was just like okay first things first I'm scared of my life because like wow I keep blocking this account it comes back as another account I keep blocking that one it comes back as another one I was just like where are we going with this like where are we going my life is falling apart which is stupidest thing ever so it, that brought like a whole lot of insecurities in my sense and um, gave me certain perspectives about the certain person I was just like okay this is giving player vibes and I was just like oh boy take care of your heart to me that's I said that to me like take care of your heart because now getting DMs from people saying that they've seen me in clubs um, I don't I, I, I'm not a good person for this person uh, I should stop doing what I'm doing with him I should end the relationship otherwise I'm getting death threats I'm getting things like I saw you on campus I I was like this person knows like whoever that person was until this day I feel like actually I don't even if I can care at this point because I'm shocked. um so that's why I decided to end the relationship because first things first my insecurities I was just like you have play a player what's the word who was who was in this is your and this flipping it's flipping so well but anyways you have player tendencies and I can't shake that off about you because <sighs> that's what happened and uh secondly well, the DMs came like a huge part to that. And thirdly, I was just like, I got to the point where flows and all, I was only focusing on the flows. And once I start doing that, I feel like I'm losing interest in the person and slowly starting to shield myself, build like this huge big wall to cover my heart because I don't want it to get broken. And I really like that's what I did, and it went to as far as falling out of love. And fine, cool, shut up. Um, I did the relationship based on that, with the time for myself. I think I'm always saying this I didn't end the relationship because I wanted, wanted to hop on to another one. Shut up, it's been for eight months, it's been great so far. So, <laughs> so I ended the relationship because I thought that. This is not for me, this is not how I would like to grow as a person, as, a, as an individual and I wouldn't want to be that person who has to constantly shiver the shoulder. Clearly, I know that it's me. Hi, I'm the problem, it's me. It didn't work, but at least we tried. That's, like, I really, 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 really appreciate that. Like. The fact that it didn't work, but fine, at least we tried. But sadly, it didn't work out because of certain disturbances and my own insecurities and my own overthinking and my own anxiety. But for now, up until I've realized that, okay, I can actually allow myself to give myself to a person that's saying that, okay, I'm giving myself, like, over to you now, up until <laughs> like I feel high. And also, isn't it weird that you see me naked? And now I'm strangers. That let's close that gap. Personally, I don't think like I understand the concept of love, honestly. Because it is so weird to be in love. Like, what are you expected to do? Because I, th I, I, I think it's because I have a lot of expectations, and I base my life on expectations. I base my life on. Okay, what's next? What's the next move? I base my life on um, projections, if I could say, like to plan ahead. But one thing about love, you can't do that. You can't project your feelings. You can't project the future. You can't project you and your person actually seeing that, okay, from this point, we're moving to this point and we're moving in this direction. Because one thing about life, it will shock you in a minute, in a second, fast, fast. And with love, that's very difficult because now, not feeling in control is one of my biggest weaknesses and that's why I find it so difficult to actually project and to have that like core fundamentals of love but that's fine but anyways some people actually 
like being in love, they can hop from one relationship to the next. I mean, it's fine, it's cool, it's okay. Weirdly, two months replaced us, but anyways. So, thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. I see subscriptions have been plummeting. Thank you so much for the views, especially for online season one. Thank you so much. You know, that's my baby, that's my love, that's my first pride of joy, that's my first book. And I love the show so much because it means so much to me to have written a show at the age of 17 and have it on my YouTube at the time. Probably, hopefully, soonly. Is that a word? But anyways, thank you so much for the love you've been giving to Sip and Spiel. I hope to do more of such content in the near future with more exciting people in my life that we can share this platform with and actually have fun, engage as friends and just give you what you need to actually take a breather because you know, once in a lifetime you need to take a breather and yeah, anyways, but for now, uh, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, make sure that you give me thumbs up for this video, if you liked it, subscribe and share. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this current direction that I want to embark on in life. Tell me what you think about No More I Love You. Tell me what you think about this whole debacle, this whole situation. I know it's a minor iota to some people, but to me, it also is a minor iota. But eh, eh, eh. to some point, it was just like, eh. yeah, anyways, but, um, And with all that said, thank you and please come again.